Hello again, thanks for choosing us. Now, residents of Akachi have resolved to petition the IGP over the death of two persons following their clash with the police. This was occasioned by an operation by the police to keep sanity in the Akachi South Municipality. A police riot van is reported to have rammed into three youth on a motorcycle leading to the death of one person. This was during a hot chase by the police after suspecting them to be culprits of a recent robbery. In an interview on the AM show for uh, the assemblyman for the area, Wanda Gatepe said they will petition the IGP for justice. Incident that we are having. So, wh wh where then do you seek justice? Uh, are you going to petition, for example, the Inspector General of Police? Uh, have you reached out to the regional uh, minister? for example, who is uh, chairperson of the RegSec. Uh, what has been the move uh, to get some uh, investigation going into this matter? Well, uh, I would say, uh, even as of yesterday, though I wasn't around, I was monitoring everything on uh, the radio stations in our town. So I realized that when it got to a stage, uh, I had the regional commander and then a regional crime officer, uh, including the, uh, our MPE, and then our uh, municipal commander, I heard them all on radio, trying to console the families and then uh, to persuade the youth to uh, prevail peace in the area. So for now, I would say uh, the issue has already gotten to a higher level. So I believe as professionals at the top, uh, they know how they are going to deal with this issue, the whole incident on uh, social media. So uh, what I heard is just similar to what, uh, or same as what Dr. Uh, Salom just uh, narrated. Yes, that is what I heard. So when I came back, uh, I tried uh, looking for the, uh, the families uh, of the disease, and then uh, we went to them just to go and then uh, to console them, also to hear the actual story. And uh, just as Dr. Uh, Salom said, those were the news we also heard. So this morning we're also trying our best to get to the police to also hear their part. Uh, because uh, when uh, an incident happens like this, you don't just listen to one side and then uh, you draw your conclusion. Well, a security analyst, uh, Adib Sani, has encouraged the residents to go ahead with their intention to seek justice, but without the involvement of the police in the process. According to him, the police have been indicted in the incident and they may protect their own. Unfortunate incident. Um, some of us uh, received the news with utter shock uh, because for uh, that many persons to die in the hands of the police is definitely a worrying phenomenon. However, um, the violence that we are witnessing is as a result of the mistrust uh, people in the area have in the police. As a matter of fact, I have taken the trouble to speak with some one or two persons and uh, they pointed to previous encounters uh, with, with the police, especially between the police and the youth. And um, there's widespread mistrust and lack of confidence in the police. And so sometimes um, some of these frustrations simmer until a trigger causes people to, to respond. So I think that uh, this should serve as a unique opportunity on the part of the police uh, to uh, win the hearts and minds of the people by ensuring that proper investigations is, is conducted, by ensuring that if their men are, are found culpable, they should be dealt with according to the law. They should also give the opportunity to the police to reach out to the people in the area to get them to buy into the idea that the police is their friend, which invariably would engender their trust and confidence. Let's talk about evidence. Uh, Selom tells me that some uh, residents there have, uh, the, it, the police has been accused of using live bullets together with rubber bullets and that they have evidence. Uh, on the other hand, we also have the bit concerning the van concerned, uh, which rammed into, supposedly rammed into the three on a motorbike, which, again, allegedly was hastily repaired. Is this tampering with evidence? 
Well, I'm not a lawyer, but it's quite obvious. Um, you know, even if there's a scratch on, on a police property, you, you have to report it. You don't have to make any attempt to even clean it with a brake fluid. And so the fact that uh, there was a, a, a hasty attempt to uh, clean up the mess, obviously, is indicative of an attempt to cover up, and that should also be looked into. Um, in recent times, you know, the, the police has been very high-handed, uh, you know, with respect to the fight against, you know, armed robbers. Uh, today, you hear three persons gunned down, suspected to be robbed. Let's get some more on this. Uh, join us on phone is the MC for the area, Martin uh, Kofiche Nyahe. Thank you very much, sir, for your time here on Join News today. What's the current security situation in the municipality? Thank you for calling. Uh, on Friday, somebody reported to the police officers in Akaki that there are three uh, boys on a motorbike uh, who's not a uh, traveling back. Uh, from somebody, and the person has reported to the police. When the police went to the scene, they've seen the three guys on a motorbike, and they were making signs for them to stop, but they refused to stop. So they chased them, and then in the course of running, uh, they fell with the motor, and the police people took them to the hospital. But the, the police were saying, the police officers used their car to hit the back of the motorbike. That caused the accident. Indeed. What, what we want to know now is uh, what the current situation is in the town. We know that the youth were agitated. But as we speak, is there calm in your municipality? Oh, the municipality is very calm. This morning is very calm. Mm. And we know that MUSEC started its own investigations into this. How far have you gone and what can you share with us? As I'm speaking to you now, I mean, who the crime officer is the one they were assigned for the investigation. Uh, sooner or later, the outcome will come out. Mm. And we know that, like, like you recalled in, in what happened, uh, three youth were uh, on the run. Uh, the police, uh, unfortunately, knocked down one person who died. Uh, what is the state of the two other people who survived this? Yeah, the three people on the motorbike. Uh, one of them, his condition is very critical. They sent him to the hospital, rich hospital in Accra. Okay. And he was pronounced dead. Yeah. Uh, that made the youth to be agitated against the police. Mm. And they came to the police of, uh, police uh, uh, compound throwing stones at the, at the police. And the police, too, are using uh, are firing guns to protect their lives. Mm. Uh, in the course of that, uh, the bullet hit one of the uh, youths, and then he was taken to hospital, and he, he, he has also passed on. Okay, so as we stand, uh, as we speak now, two people uh, have died in this incident. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, and, and are there others who have been injured, who are receiving medical attention? They are in a hospital now, in uh, uh, CCC, Artinari Hospital. How many so of them? Two of them. Two of them. Okay. Yes, so I'm at the hospital right now with the relatives to go and see them. Very well. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for your time here on Journeys uh, today. We'll follow up on this uh, in thank our you. subsequent bulletins. And thank that's the Minister Chief Executive for uh, the area, Mr. Nyahe there.